Hello friends, welcome to Natsa's Nook. Today I'm going to try something that I tried on the internet and hopefully it works and then you'll see this video. If not, well, yeah, not going to see this video. Anyways, <clears throat> what they were doing, and I guess this could be something that, um, I don't do keto or anything, but it could be like, um, someone who's, who's doing keto or, um, has problems with, um, uh, the gluten or anything like that. So it'd be a pizza that they could still do. And I'm, I'm hoping this tastes really, really, really good. I'm going to bring you down here and show you what I'm doing. Now I, I put the measuring cup over top of that. So that's why I have a little bit of cheese in my bowl. And it says one can of chicken. However, I either have the pint or I have, um, like what would be my, my, uh, uh, yogurt jar of chicken and I thought to make a little bit bigger chicken I'm gonna opt to do the pint jar okay and I guess you kind of like just squish this all together I do not really care I mean I have some that's canned from the store however I'm not its biggest fan of it so I do love my own canned chicken but I'm not, I, I just don't care for it from the store and I don't know why. But then it calls for one egg. All right. And then um, it calls for half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now it does call for um, basil, but I don't like basil. So I'm going to throw a little bit of oregano in there. And some garlic, of course, because I love garlic. I'm hoping this crust is going to taste really good, and I'm going to make it into a barbecue. Um, it'd be like a barbecue chicken pizza. And a little bit of salt. All right. And get that all stirred up in there. Now, obviously, my hands are clean and stuff as I always start each meal off like that. And you mix this all up. Now his looked a little bit darker because I think he used a little bit more seasoning than mine. However, I don't think it really matters. I mean, you're going to go with your rolls, your kitchen, right? So I'm going to push this off the side a little bit. And I guess you put it on a pan that's got parchment paper. And I figure what we could do, because my husband's getting home a little bit late tonight, this won't be um, super thick crust. So this should work out pretty good. We'll just do like a small side salad. And so what you're trying to do is push this out like into, you know, like a pizza circle or, you know, I guess it wouldn't even have to be a circle. It could be square if you wanted to do a square pizza. Either way, I don't think it really matters, honestly. Or out of the middle. Because we usually eat half of a medium pizza. So this might be almost the perfect size for this. And I'm going to put you on pause and I'll wash my hands. I'm going to go ahead and throw this over in the June and I'll be right back. Now I normally don't put peppers on there, but it sounds really good. And I have those red pepper tops from slicing up those peppers the other day. And that's what I do, by the way. <clears throat> that way, you know, like the tops that people don't like to use. This way we actually can use them. And it works out pretty good that way. And then that kind of gives it a little bit of color because you got to figure there's going to be the barbecue sauce that is um, going to go on here with the regular uh, chicken barbecue pizza. It's got some onions in here and I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese and um, that should hopefully be enough. And like I said, we're going to have a side salad. So it shouldn't be hopefully too much for his dinners, um, but hopefully it's something that's going to be 
pretty tasty nonetheless. So that's going to be going on the pizza. And um, once that gets out of the oven, it's uh, got about 11 more minutes. And I can see how that's going. It might need a little bit more time. I put it in for 350 at uh, 17 minutes, but we'll see what the time ends up being. All right, friends, this is what this is looking like. And this is actually coming off, ouch, this pan a little bit, pretty good. So that should work out very well. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to loosen this up and um, get this ready so I can start to put everything on there. And I don't think it should stick. Well, so yeah, that's coming right up from there. But I'm going to go ahead and still cook it on this pan because there's no reason to... There's no reason to dirty up another pan or anything, so yeah, that should work out just fine. So, what I'm going to do, get a spoon out here. I just opened up a new thing of some Sweet Baby Rays. I always try to make sure I check the refrigerator. I don't know about you guys, there's only the two of us, so I can only blame one or me or my husband. But have you ever opened up the refrigerator and before you know it, you have like a bunch of stuff open of the same thing? Gosh, I just, that just upsets me. And then I guess I want to clean out the refrigerator in the garage. And I think it, I'm trying to figure out where it came from, but I'm pretty sure that it actually was my daughter's um, ketchup and mustard from her party this summer. So, yeah. So anyways, there's... The sauce and that's probably almost a little bit too much sauce but I'm gonna go ahead and put some mozzarella cheese on here my husband's dropping off his trailer right now so he should be home somewhat soon here like I said we'll just have like a very small side salad with this and because it has the chicken crust, obviously, I'm not going to be putting um, chicken on the on the top here. That's probably a little bit too much peppers and onions, but we both like pepper and onion, so I'm going to go ahead and use up what's in this being chopped up so it doesn't go bad. To spread this out and um, I will bring you back once I actually get this out of the oven and show you what this looks like all right and here's our side salads and the pizza is almost out of the oven all right friends here is the finished product and as you can see it's still not sticking Run the pizza knife over this. Now I don't know how crunchy this will be because I think I put too much barbecue sauce on here. Get out a plate. We'll see how this rolls here. All right, friends. So this. Is what that looks like now it's not super crunchy like it showed on online but I think I put like I said I put a little bit more bear barbecue sauce than he did but um, yeah that looks pretty good and that will be our dinner tonight so thank you very much for stopping by and you have a very blessed and wonderful night